Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in to this episode of NotAnalog.com. Today I'm looking at some different products. I'm looking at some products which focus on the environment as well as your pocket. Um, this is the products from Belkin, they're called the Conserve range. Now in the Conserve range there's a whole range of products. I've got most of them in front of me here and I'm going to run through them. I'll start with the smaller ones first and I'll just tell you a little bit about them all. Um, this first one is called the Conserve Socket. So very, very simple device. Um, You'll see on the side you've got the options here for how long you would like something that's plugged into this device to be powered on for. So you've got half an hour, three hours, or six hours. So say for example there's a heater or a fan that you only want powered on for a certain amount of time, you just flick that switch and away it goes. Um, sorry, you push this button once you've set the time, it turns on, after a while it turns off. <clears throat> that's all it really is. So a really, really simple way of managing your power um, without having to do a whole lot, just set the timer, push the button, and away it goes. Very, very simple, great product. Secondly, I want to show you is the Conserve Valet. Now, this product I like because it's interesting. How many of you out there have got an iPod or a Bluetooth headset or something which requires charging on a regular basis? Now, the interesting thing is that most time when you charge something, you don't need to charge it through the whole evening. Um, for myself, I come home and I'll plug my iPod into the charger or something like that and in the morning I take it off charge and I walk away. The thing is, is that that 12 hours or so that it's been overnight it's continually drawing power and it's costing you money and you know it's not good for the environment and the whole lot. So what Belkin has brought out is this product here, it's called the Valet. So it looks like a bit like a UFO, however the cool thing about it is on the back you'll see the little power outlet which is just for what plugs into the power point there's three USB slots here, and on the other side, there's another USB slot. Now, it does come with these two USB cables as well. One's a uh, micro USB and a mini USB cable, um, which suit most phones these days. Um, and what you do is you plug these devices in and push the start button, and once it's finished charging, um, it turns off. So, for example, with myself, and I'll put a little picture in the bottom around here somewhere, um, you know, I plug my, my flip camera in, which I'm using now, um, my phone and my Bluetooth headset and things like that, and that's it. After a few hours, once everything's fully charged, it turns itself off. If you then plug a different device in, it doesn't not charge anything, it still charges that device as well. So I think that's really smart because, especially with iPods and things like that, you don't need it charging more through the night, you just need it to get its full charge and turn off. So that's, that's a really, really smart product. So kudos to Belkin for that one, I think that's great. And sorry, just before I put it away, you'll notice it's got the cable management sections in here, so you can wrap cables around to make sure it's a perfect fit for your device. Just, just smart, and it looks quite good. So you can put this in the kitchen or somewhere where you might have uh, a lot of people who charge products. Have it in the kitchen, they can just plug it in and away it goes. As long as it can charge off a USB port, like most devices these days, it's really going to be a good product for you and your back pocket, and of course the environment. So put that one down. The other one I'm showing you is a little bit bigger. This big guy right here, this is the Conserve Smart Power. So what you'll notice straight away is you've got this beautiful green little outlet and the rest are sort of different color and then these two are, again, different. So what it is, is how many of you have got um, a TV, a Blu-ray player, a PlayStation or a Nintendo or a Xbox and you've got an amp for surround sound and a VCR if you've still got VCRs and all these other products Everyone has that, so a lot of people have a cabinet which they have the TV and the whole lot in there. However, how often are you using all those devices at once and how often do you need them? So what they've done is, a really, really smart thing actually is, you plug your TV into the master port, plug say your VCR, DVD player, PlayStation and so on in these ports, and then extremely important things in these ports like say a cordless phone or a, let's say, just say cordless phone, anything else you might think of as well, maybe a lamp, let's say a lamp. So what happens is, is when you finish turning off your TV, when you turn the TV off from the remote, it takes the power away from these four slots as well. So your um, DVD player and things like that aren't still drawing power in standby mode, which, you know, and I'll tell you in a second, it actually does cost you a lot of money. And again, it's just a waste of power, not good for the environment, not good for you. And this is just convenient. You don't need to do anything special like go to the PowerPoint and flick the switch. You just use your regular TV remote that you're so used to, you know, using, hit the power button and 
they will turn off as well. I think that's really smart, but if you've got important devices, they won't turn off. Just plug them into here, and that's fine. Um, it's also, you know, it's got a surge protector and stuff like that, so it is, you know, considering that when you buy a big fancy TV, you're probably going to look at buying a, a upgraded power board because you want to protect your products and things like that. Um, for the same price, when you can get something like this, that's also going to start saving you money. I think that's really important, and you know, it's definitely something that people should start looking into. So I'll put that one down. And the other one I'm going to show you, I think I need to move the camera for this, it's the, um, it's the Conserve Insight. Now this product, um, I need to move it. You know what, I'm going to move it right now. Actually, I'll, I'll do this on the fly. Because I also like to do one take every now and then. So, sorry about the movement, but this is just how it's going to go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you something. You'll notice this product here. So this is plugged into the power at the moment, and it is currently powering this TV. Now, even though this TV is in standby mode, if I go back to it, you will notice that it is costing me 30 cents a month just to keep it in standby mode. I can click the button, change it to year, it's costing me $4 a year. Um, I can click on the energy, it's using 2.6 watts, and I can see how many carbon emissions I'm leaving as well. And that's just in standby, so you can see that it is drawing some power. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this product on. It's just an Acer TV. Turn this product on and you'll see what happens here. So it's still in month mode and you'll see it's costing $13 to run. Now this is just an interesting thing and if you do this on a lot of appliances at home, it's interesting to see how much power you're pulling and which ones you can probably live without. So you see I've just got it it's on my website here. Um, so yeah, it's costing us $13 a month to run it full blast. Um, $166 a year, uh, 864 kilos of you know carbon emissions per year and it's really really interesting to be able to see these statistics and it is just plugged into the power point and then the TV is plugged into the device. Uh, that's all it really is and I think that this is definitely a smart way of doing things. Um, a lot of people, so I'm just going to put this down, hopefully you can still see me, a lot of people have no idea what, how much power each device uses and what I've done during my time with the product is I've you know, put it around the house and I've plugged it into different things just to see how much power am I using you know, to power the fridge or to power um, the washing machine and things like that. And it's, it's interesting. Before I hooked up the, um, this big power board, before I hooked this up, uh, I hooked that one up first to see how much power I was using to you know, power the DVD player and the PlayStation and TV off that thing, and that was really interesting, it was more than 30 cents, I think it was in the dollars per month. And when you think about it, if you only watch TV for a part of the day, and you turn it off for the rest of the day, a power board like this will pay itself off probably within a year, um, just by having those devices off, and it's not through you having done anything, any hard work, it's just, you've turned it off. That's it. You didn't have to go up to the power point and turn it off, you didn't have to unplug anything, you just bought a different power board. Um, so look, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail. I think I think it's a great product. There's not a lot to, t to say about it. Um, I feel like I'm going a little bit green. However, I don't feel like I had to do a whole lot. All I did was plug some things in and maybe think about things a little bit more. And I think that's all most people need to do. I'm not a greenie. I'm not um, going to preach to anyone about anything. But just smart products by Belkin. I love it. So thanks. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, send me an email. Twitter, Facebook, whatever. I'm, I'm trying to be everywhere for you guys. So hit me up however you want. I'll put the details at the bottom. Um, let's talk. Love these products. Thanks, Belkin. Thank you.